Hi guys, in this video we're going to show you a tool in Unity that many beginners aren't aware of, that can save you lots of time and frustration. We've created a 3D URP project and imported the Toon Environment asset from the Asset Store. This asset has several tiled pieces. We'll start by placing one of the pieces in the scene. Now we want to place another one next to this one. We can try to do this by hand, but it's very difficult to line up perfectly. A much easier method is to use grid snapping. If we click this drop down, we can set up our grid. We can see that the tile is 2 units by 2 units. So we'll set the grid size to 2 on all axes. This will allow us to easily place the next tile 2 units away from the first one. This won't align items already in the scene though. We can align selected items to the grid by clicking here to align on all axes. Now the tile has snapped into place. To ensure we're always moving on the grid, we'll click here to turn on grid snapping. Then we'll duplicate the existing item by pressing Ctrl D. Now we can move this piece and it snaps into the correct place. If we drag a new prefab into the scene, it doesn't snap when we're placing it. We can just put it in roughly the right place though, and then move it again to snap it into the correct position. We need to rotate the view to make sure it's in the correct position on the Y axis. Next, let's look at an edge tile, which is slightly larger than 2x2 two two due to it having this overhang. We can see that this doesn't quite snap into the correct place. That's because it's snapping the centre of the object to the grid. Because of the overhang, the centre is slightly lower than we want for the grid snapping to work. Rather than using the centre, we'll select this option and change it to use the pivot point. The pivot point is defined by the creator of the asset, and for modular assets it should be in the correct place for grid snapping. We can see that the tool handle has moved down slightly. Now we can move this tile and it snaps to the right place. With grid snapping turned on, we can easily and quickly create our scene. OK, that covers everything for this video. Let us know in the comments if you found it useful, or if you know any other Unity time-saving tips. A big thank you to all our patrons, we really appreciate you helping to support the channel. If you'd like to help and also get access to the source code, you can find details in the description. Thanks guys!